Hey guys, welcome back to From the Depths. We're, we're back in the campaign, this is episode 13. Uh, we're nearing the end here. We have only like two factions left. So, um, you know, it shouldn't be too many more videos. I think we can probably do like a big chunk of damage against the Great Talons in this video and then hopefully finish them next time, giving us maybe two more episodes for uh, the Scarlet Dawn or something. But, you know, we should be like done by like, you know, at the very latest, episode 20. Um, but I don't think we're gonna get that far. So yeah, this is um, this is my new bridge of my new ship. You can kind of see it from the outside. I use uh, these projectors, which I um, had to figure out how to use. They're actually really cool. And this is the like the first bridge I'm actually building. Uh, so let me let me uh, show you the ship though. Voila! <laughs> this thing is epic. I gotta say, I'm I'm very very happy with it. It's not quite done yet. It has no missiles on it. So that's a, that's a that's a weird thing for me because I love missiles. I think they just look amazing when you like fire a swarm of missiles and they all like collide into the enemy vehicle all at once. I think that looks just amazing. So I'd love to use them. But no, there's no missiles on this craft. I want to kind of challenge myself a little bit. It uses advanced cannons and it has a particle cannon in the front right here as well. That's kind of its main weapon. It does have some issues with like um not being able to see the enemy because of this like front part. So I might change that up a little bit but yeah let me give you the the grand tour so first of all we have the particle cannon it's a pretty big particle cannon uh here are the stats here you can see they're two arms as long as they get pretty much a, a thousand meters is as long as an arm can be so i got as close as i could get you know with everything fitting and i got 999 for two different arms i also have uh lamb's defense here these ones are short range they only activate within 100 meters of a shell that way they only protect the particle cannon I have other ones on the vehicle to deal with other things. Up next, we have these two advanced cannons on the side. These ones are 166 millimeter, and they fire 0.6 shots a second. They're not super powerful. They're just there kind of for fun, um, but I have two of these. Up top, these are kind of our anti-air. There's four of them, so hopefully they can take out things like nukes and smaller aircraft swimming around because they can turn around, you know, all the way. Well, maybe not quite all the way. This one can. Uh, I might add some more stuff in this empty space here, just kind of blink. I might add a small missile system. I know I was like going on and on about how I'm not using missiles, but hey, I'll make an exception just to make this a little bit better. Okay, now here is the big gun. This is 500 millimeter. It's powerful. It fires uh, one, one shot uh, every 1.22 seconds. Uh, and this thing is great. It's got the uh, hollow point shell, which is what I usually use. It does some really good damage. Yeah, and, and so that, that pretty much does it for all the weaponry on the craft. So we've got, I guess, a total of four plus four, uh, eight advanced cannons, and then one particle cannon. So not bad. Does some good damage. I've also got some heavy armor, and I added some wedges this time. You know, I took that from the, um, what's that called? The one we just fought against in, like, episode 11. Uh, the one with the nukes. I forget what it's called. We I, I took the, some wedged armor design because uh, I guess apparently it helps against kinetic shells. So I'll do that. I also added some like more wedges, some spaced armor. Like I went like ham with like the heavy armor to try and protect the particle cannon. It's not foolproof, but it's something. I got some basic smoke defense scattered around the vehicle as well, and then detection as well. So here is the lamb's defense on the sides. So I just have I might change this a little bit, but I like the idea of it. So essentially what this is, if I look on the inside of this little thing, I have a heat decoy and a radar decoy. So essentially when an enemy fires a missile, uh, I, have a, a, I have a control block set that when there's like enemy missiles nearby, it's going to tell this thing to turn on. And what this does is it makes it so missiles that use heat or radar get attracted to this section of the ship protect, uh, protecting the main body. So they get sent over here where the lamb's defense will now take care of them. It's a, I think it's a pretty cool idea. I might do something similar for these bottom ones, but I'm just trying to lure the missiles away from the main body to these outside things and then get, get them zapped with the lamb's defense. So there's no deadly blades on this ship. I think I said that in a past video. I wanted to make a ship without using deadly blades. So it uses all these thrusters here to stay up in the air. If you look on the right, I'm going through the materials pretty quick. I was using supercharged engines at first, but those were even going through materials quicker, so I, I switched to injectors, but this is still not great, so I gotta be like refueling this thing constantly. There's a little bit of a shame, but it's okay. Oh yeah, this, sorry, this, uh, the last feature here. I added uh, buoys. So I have four buoys, and their wait time is five seconds, so they launch one every five seconds, and these have, uh, these are sonar buoys, so they land in the water, and they send back signals for where the submarines are or the enemies underwater are so that my ship can see them. 
So there it is. There's no name for it. I was thinking something like the Kraken, just because it's like my most powerful ship, and that's like a pretty deadly uh, sea creature, I guess. I don't know. Thought the great white shark, the white whale, just a bunch of random things. But let me guys, uh, let me know what you think. Maybe even the pelican. This this front thing could be something different. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, and then I'll 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 choose my favorite name from the comments. But yeah, let's let's get a battle with this thing. What is this Ardvark refinery? Well, good luck. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off my weapons real quick. I want to see the how the defenses work so far. The lamb's defense going. Oh god. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Give me a moment. Let's just uh change this thing back up. Uh. Yeah. Let's let's turn this up. Okay. My bad. Uh. Attempt number two. Please don't fall in the water again. Oh my god, what's going on? I swear, I swear this thing works, guys. Hold on. Stay in the air. Yes, there we go. Okay. Attempt number three. Third, third time's the charm. Dear god. Okay. Defense test. Let's just see how the lamb's defense works. Should be pretty good. I have the uh, range set pretty far back, so it's just going to keep backing up till it's like about 2,000 meters away, I believe. Um, and let me check something else. So, as you can see here, the particle cannon can't really see the enemy ship. So I'm, I'm still working on how to deal with that. I've been like trying to figure out things with the pitch. But let's turn on the main weapons. So here we go. You can see the advanced cannons firing. These big 500 uh, millimeter ones are pretty good. They do some good damage. Oh, you know what? I think the particle cannon might have fired. Might have missed it. It did fire. Okay, we, I, I missed it somehow though. Yeah, so it's an EMP particle cannon, which is pretty overpowered. Um, I still need to work out the the turret caps a little bit. They're a little bit too bulky, and they kind of get shot, so I might need to lower that down at some point. But this thing does some good damage. Nice. Well, that was a pretty easy. Let's get a let's get a harder a harder victim. I mean, uh, en enemy to fight. Okay, this is gonna be a little interesting here. I'm gonna send in my v my new vehicle. Oh, I've been given commodities. That's why it's not going down resources. Yikes, okay, I probably shouldn't do that too much anymore. I'm gonna try something that might be a little bit stupid, but I'm gonna do this craft against four enemies at the same time. I don't think this is smart, but hey, why not? Cannon's going in. Particle cannon, let me uh, see the damage on that. Okay, good thing it shot. Okay, so what is this thing? This is the, um... Machination? I, I, I'm probably saying that wrong. It might be machination, I don't know. But anyway, got hit with the... EMP park it look at that look at all this stuff <laughs> oh my god this is overpowered I gotta say uh, if you use particle cannons I recommend using EMP particle cannons because look at this damage uh, let's see if we can find anything we have ring shields taken out laser system lots of uh, AI control buoy stuff I mean everything lots of transmitters is that AI dead it might even be AI dead to be honest well yep yeah, it is AI dead one shot took out that uh, what was that? It was like almost 400,000 uh, resource ship. And then you can't forget about our cannons here, doing great damage as well. Was this the Iron Pelican? No, Hobgoblin. Another uh, decently powerful ship, taken down pretty easily. And how's sort of the defense going? So we have Lamb's defense. It's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. We have ring shields, uh, or or one ring shield, I should say. Uh, on the ship, uh, making the uh, the front section and the back section a little bit stronger. But Lamb's defenses all really have her anti munitions. So the Parker Cannon takes a, quite a while to actually charge back up. I might need to add more engines onto this thing. I might try to use the uh, uh, turbochargers a little bit. Uh, someone said in the comments that if I want uh, fuel efficiency and high RPM, I need to use turbochargers. I've kind of like been. Um, avoiding using turbochargers in my engines just because I don't know exactly how to use them right. Like I understand, you know, how to make a very simple engine with like one cylinder and one carburetor, but I mean a uh, turbocharger, but I just don't understand how to make like a, a good, like compact looking engine using turbochargers. So I think I might take some time to actually figure that out. But for now, injectors seem to do the job. They, they're they eating through materials like crazy though. But here's something I was saying before, it has trouble aiming exactly at a ship. So, like, the particle cannon is charged up, but as you can see, it just can't quite see the enemy. So if you guys have any tips with how I can 
Make it so the ship angles easier. Two damage anyway. Go for this one next. There's... There we go. Look at that. AI dead, right? <laughs> it's like... It, it's This thing is insane. Anything that's like, um... Like, under 400,000 resources pretty much gets killed immediately. No, 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 don't do this. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I need to... Yikes. Okay. Okay. We won anyway. I need to do something about this. It's like the AI itself is a little bit finicky. It's just the reverse thrust. I, th I believe the center of mass is slightly below. Oh no, it's about in the center. It's just when this thing gets angled uh, off, the this is the only backwards propulsion I have. So it's going to bring the ship up or down depending on how it's tilted. But overall, like a pretty good second test, I would say, for this thing. I think the Great Talons are in trouble. So over here is the main throne. You know, I say we just head for one of their one of their final fortresses. I want to see how well this thing does against a, like a, a big boss type enemy. But like I said, I love this cockpit. I mean, it's like it's kind of bland. You know, I gotta be honest. But I love the idea of having a bridge. Um, I don't know why I wasn't doing this before. I've been working on another vehicle called I'm calling it the Giant Squid. It's <laughs> It's pretty much just a flying squid, except it's going to be bigger. It's not done yet, and I, I'm actually struggling with the shape a lot, so I don't know if I'm going to finish it. If I do finish it, I do plan on uploading some footage of me building, just to get more content out there. I'll specify it's a building video, so if you guys don't want to watch it, you don't have to. Okay, I'm going to use some commodities here, just to bring me back up to full, and then continue our way towards the enemy. You know what? I don't see why we can't just finish off the Great Talons this episode. This thing is... It's powerful, you know? When you build ships over a million resources, like, you're, you're gonna get something pretty good. It's not perfect, uh, that, that's for sure. It's got... It's got some weaknesses. Um, it's got pretty good armor, though. The, uh, the inside... Don't... I don't even want to show you guys this, but it's, like, it's just complete... I just kind of slapped these things here. Like, I just slapped a bunch of fuel because I needed it. Batteries on top of things. The back is just open and unprotected. I have AIs just on the bottom. Yeah, this thing was not made to be hit anywhere else besides just the front part, and even that's not super great. But I like the idea of it. I love the um, the radar and heat decoys on the sides. You know, it actually took me quite a while to make. I'm not sure if there's a way to check how many hours you spent on something, uh, but I don't know, just the, um, like I had a sketch in mind for the shape I wanted, and I, and I like how it turned out. It turned out pretty close to what I had in mind. I don't know, I'm just really happy with it. It, it like, it actually looks pretty good. It's, got, it's like, it's got some odd, odd things going with it that make it a little bit weird, like this little, this little area up here, and things don't quite line up perfectly, but I think just cause since it's so big, uh, things, it, like, it works out good enough. Hold on, before we get to the uh, the big battle, uh, it looks like a monsoon is trying to capture some territory. So let me uh, send in the flying squid just to deal with that real quick. Don't know what the monsoon is, but you don't want to mess with the squid. Okay, so what are you? You kind of remind me of some deep water guard stuff. So it looked like, uh, we didn't get a good look at it, but it looked like it had one powerful advanced cannon. Could have done some damage to us, but I, I don't think it did. Um, so, if you don't have good missile defense, the squid will tear you apart. Okay, now for the uh, for the big battle. This is the uh, the Death Throne. So this is one of the uh, Great Town's main fortresses. I think in order to wipe them out, you have to take out all of them, or at least take out this one. I, I'm not sure exactly how it works. I think you have to take out all of them. But, um take this one out first. Uh, what I might do actually, I'm going to turn down the, the volume a little bit so we can take out just one of these and then I'll finish off the other one afterwards. I don't think it's too cheaty to spawn them in one at a time. If I remember correctly, this thing doesn't even have any weapons so it's just going to be there causing extra lag for the battle so I might as well just take it out first. Hopefully we can get a nice particle cannon shot. Oh there we go, okay. Yeah I did. One shot, that's all it took. Yeah, brutal. Okay, so that thing's gone. Oh, there goes the lag spike. Okay, here we go. So let's see how well our laser defense does. It's gonna use up a lot of engine power. It's doing pretty well, knocking out most of the shells. Missiles incoming, that's the hard, that's the big stuff. Oh, look at that. All of them. Oh, no, not all of them. We're getting a little bit overwhelmed. So they should be going for the outside parts. It didn't look like they really, they went for them that much, so I don't know what was going on there, but... Okay, so they've got a lot of things coming at us. Hopefully our EMP uh, particle cannon can knock out something. This thing's a big target, so I would imagine we're able to to hit it. There we go, big hit. Let's see, what's the damage like on this thing? 
So 99, so we'll, we'll see. This isn't the ideal target for the EMP because it's just so big. Um, so EMP hit here. There is... Um, I don't think that really hit anything, actually. It didn't even take out the lamps defense. They... Oh, they have a lot of surge protectors. Did anything fall down here? Okay, we got we got some stuff. We got... Oh, a lot of stuff, actually. We, um... Looks like we took out majority of the laser system and some, um... What are those called? Shoot, they're... I'm, I'm having trouble with names today for some reason. They're like the nuclear things that generate electricity. They're RTGs. Okay. Took out some RTGs and some lasers. So not bad. I think we're each at 1% uh, down on health. Oh, that's a lot of missiles. That's not good. I think our engines are already maxed out with the lambs defense and trying to charge the particle cannon. Okay, though. We still have the uh, advanced cannons doing some damage. So let's try and see if we can find the shells. So the shells here, 500 millimeter. Oh, look at that. You see that? They're, they're powerful. They take off chunks. Looks like one of them gets stopped. I think they're moving too quick for the lambs defense to actually stop. There's a lot of lot of blocks coming off, so that's I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's see to make sure the uh, particle cannon is still online. It is, luckily. Our lambs defense is not online anymore, but we do have a lot of armor here anyway. We still have the side lambs defense. So it should be okay there. These ones have a range of 500 meters. Yeah, look at that, stopping most of it. Okay, we're almost charged up for another particle cannon shot. Let's hope this one hits a good spot. Okay, still down only 1%. We're going through resources like crazy though. Okay, with the particle cannon charged though, our lambs defense is better since we're not using engine power to charge the particle cannon. Another hit. What did we hit? A lot of surge protectors, some detection. No weapons though. That turret's still online. Uh, mostly just surge protectors actually. Some detection, but that's really not a what we're trying to hit here. It looks as though our cannons have been doing some good damage that we've been taking off chunks every now and then. Look at that. Another big chunk. This thing's got two main weapons, you know, those two those are big cannons. I think alone they cost like at least over a hundred thousand materials, and I have two of them, so very deadly. I think in a previous video I mentioned how I th I thought lasers were the, the best weapon, but I think I do have to agree. Um, once you really start putting money into advanced cannons, they get pretty powerful, and they're pretty reliable as well. Like, shields can stop them, but the fact that they don't use that much resources to use is just so nice. You know, it makes ships a lot cheaper, especially, like, bigger ones. Yeah, look at that. It's just eating away at these turrets. It's amazing. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch the particle cannon over to explosive shock, just so we can see some real damage being done. Uh, I think EMP is better. But the uh, explosive shock just looks really cool. So I want to see how that looks. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. So many blocks gone. Turret decimated. Definitely, like, for the amount of energy it used, I don't think it's very good. Oh, wow. It's charging up quick this time for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, like I was saying, for the amount of energy it costs to fire that burst, I don't think it's worth it. That's why I always go EMP, because EMP... Like, taking out an AI in one shot is priceless. You know, you can use as ma many materials as you want, because if you can do that, just go ahead. Uh, but you can't deny that the explosive, explosive shock looks really cool. Oh, this thing doesn't stand a chance at, against us at all. But we've gone through so many resources. Like, this thing was full when the battle started. We've already used 140,000 materials. I think I might need to invest in some... Did you miss? No, it missed. The park can missed. Okay, that, that really can't happen too much, especially against something this big. I'm gonna switch back to EMP. I'm very impressed with the defense. We've only taken 2% damage, really good lambs defense. The armoring seems to be working pretty well. Uh, these front turrets, though, um, definitely need to be changed. I might add offensive, missile, uh, offensive uh, lasers here, um, just because I can make those turrets really flat since you don't need to worry about um I don't know they're, they're just you, I can make them a little a lot flatter oh lots of lag something's happening AI hey, did oh I don't even need the particle can what happened oh it looks like just uh I think our shells just got through um oh that's bad lag but it just means the battle's over sorry about that guys yeah, uh, like I was saying, the, I was focusing a lot on the particle cannon, but these these cannons here on the sides are really uh, maybe even more important than the particle cannon. Nice. First real battle done. I think um, just a few more 
battles like that and then your talents are done for. I'm gonna save this one for last just in case that ends at all, but I don't, I don't think it will. They have a lot of resources getting built up. This one has 823,000 materials, so I'm actually just gonna hold up here for a second. Uh, I'm gonna bring in a cargo vessel just to refuel that ship a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna heavier. I'm gonna keep using the excuse that this is like my first campaign on the series to avoid making proper cargo vehicles. Don't worry, don't worry. We, we got, it's fine. This is, this is good. This is a proper vehicle. So look at this cool design. Okay, that should be enough. I'm just gonna send this here with all its resources all the way up to the uh, vehicle that I built. Still needs a name, because this thing it just eats their resources like crazy. Might as well push back a little bit. Build the hammerhead here as well. Uh, we lost one hammerhead last time, so we're, we're down to just one hammerhead. Um, I don't think I'm going to build another one. They're, they're pretty expensive. We'll see, though. Okay, let's, um... Oh, what is this? They have a lot of things. Hotspur. Wait a second. Was this thing supposed to be spawned on land? Because there's, there's no land here, that's for sure. Whatever. Yeah, we're still a hammerhead against this thing. Can't forget about the good old hammerhead. You know, it's not, um... It's not the new vehicle. I haven't actually fought them against each other. I would hope their hammerhead would lose since this one costs a lot more than it. But the, um, it doesn't have that great laser defense. So I wouldn't be surprised. Could go either way. Oh, wait a second. I totally forgot. The, um, every single one of the Great Talon ships are air, air vehicles. There's no reason for them to spawn on land. They're all meant to be in the air. It's weird. They're really like a mixture of, like, the Deepwater Guard and the Onyx Watch. But then, like, just flying as well. And another one. Dead. Okay. That was pretty easy. Oh, things are good, guys. I think uh, this ship right here could win us the campaign, if I'm being honest. Okay, it looks like our cargo vessel has arrived. Please heal this thing up. There are no uh, repair bots on this new vehicle. It's just me. So that's pretty good. Nice. Full resource and almost full health. And then we'll go against the tribe of the rusted ram. That's right. The, um, you know, I kind of want to give this a second, actually, because they're, they're of a lot of materials. They might produce something like a cobalt. That would be a, a nice test. I like giving the enemy as, like, as, as much of a chance as I can. It just doesn't feel right to try and, you know, rush things. Because they are like a computer, you know, they can't... The AI the game can't really think that well. It's doing its best, but let's, uh, in the meantime, we'll, while we're waiting for that thing to produce a new um, vehicle for us to fight, let's go against the Morning Star here. Oh, we've done this fight before, I remember you. You got obliterated, I believe. Because you don't have any missile defense. Yeah, that's about right. Looks like they hit the top part of the squid, actually. Okay, though. Love this design. I hope I can get a giant squid build, built, but it's just, it's difficult, man. This, the shape, I don't know how I did this. Like, it was, I think I was just freestyling it at the time, and I kind of had an idea what I wanted. Now I'm trying to, like, build something based off of this, which I freestyled, so it's a lot harder to figure out what I'm doing. Okay, that was pretty easy. Nice. Do you have a new ship? Do you have a new vessel for me to fight yet? No? Okay, man, I'm running out of patience, but uh, I guess I'll blow up this thing in the meantime. I almost don't want to use the particle cannon, um, but it's fine. It looks like... Was it EMP? Okay, so it looks like only one arm hit, um, which would explain why you're not in the water now, but look at these. The shells alone are really good. I might even... I might keep the particle cannon as explosive shot, or maybe piercing, because the shells are already pretty powerful. I might not need the EMP, but... um. It really depends on the enemy we're fighting. If we're fighting something that costs more than us, I'm going EMP. I'm, there's no honor there, I've just got to win. But if we're fighting the weaker guys, I might have some more fun. Have you produced a new vessel yet? No? What are you saying? Wanted to build Warlord. Oh. I don't think it's going to build a Warlord. Um, We'll see. I'll, I'll give it time. I'm not going to attack it. I got all day. Well, not really, actually. I only record for about an hour. Okay, I guess we'll just do another intermission fight. We had the Flying Squid against the Aardvark Refinery. I would love this thing to produce a Warlord. I don't remember what the Warlord is, but I think it's another pretty powerful godly vessel the uh, Great Towns has, so I wouldn't mind finding that. If I remember correctly, actually, hold on, let me um, put the satellite up here. Uh, this is something that's going to be pretty interesting. Okay, I believe the Scarathon has like 3 million resources or something. Yeah, 4 million resources built up. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, as soon as we declare war against them, they're going to produce the biggest ship they possibly can. Most likely the Singularity. So, I don't know how we're going to do against the Skyrodon. If we lose our capital ship, we might just get kind of taken apart. And it, the series could take longer than I initially planned. I don't really know how big you're supposed to build in this game. You know, this is 
1.3 million or like 1.4 million almost. I don't know, either way it's gonna be interesting. <sighs> either way, flying squid, have fun. Ooh. Probably not smart to launch all the missiles at the same time because some of them miss, but uh... Hey, looks really cool. I'm actually running out of patience. You know, I got... Hey man, I got a video to make here. Can't just sit here, not producing ships for me to fight. I'm just gonna keep getting more territory. Okay, another one of these guys. Okay, this could be a little bit of an issue. I might send in the hammerhead to take this thing out. Shouldn't be that much of a problem though. Yeah, let's just intercept it real quick. It's weird that the hammerhead's not my most powerful vehicle anymore. Yeah, I saw a couple people saying in the comments to make a Star Destroyer. I'm not sure if a new vehicle is quite a Star Destroyer, but I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. I think it works. Oh wow, look at that thing. A big cannon there. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's big. It's big. Yeah, it's big. It's not as big as I was expecting though. Yeah, the hammerhead head really shouldn't have a problem with this thing. It's got a lot of smoke defense, but you need a lot of smoke defense against the hammerhead, so whatever it's got is not enough. Doing, you know, it's trying hard, but it's not working. I'm still very impressed that Cobalt was able to beat the hammerhead, you know, with like an almost 200,000 um, material difference. It still managed to win. That just goes to show that I, I leave a lot of weaknesses in my designs and I'm not a I'm not an amazing builder or anything. I like to think I know enough about this game that I can do anything. Like I, I could build any type of ship, you know, use any type of weapon, but I can't say I'll do it perfectly or do it that well. Okay, how is this thing not dead yet? Oh, there we go. Do it. And well, I took some damage to the front, but not too bad. AM's defense and uh, missile just defense did pretty well. Nice. Have you built a new ship yet? Oh my god. We're almost at a council meeting. I might ally with the Scarlet Dawn at the next council meeting. Just to help finish off the um, Great Towns. Actually, I don't want to ally with them. Scarlet Dawn's just like bouncing around back and forth in their own territory. No, they're just collecting resources. This thing's got like probably 4 million resources at this point. I might have waited too long to go against the Scarlet Dawn. They might be too powerful for me to beat. 4 million materials, that's more than I have. You know? Beating time. What? Oh my god. Oh no. I should have finished off the Great Towns when I had the chance. I was waiting for this guy just to give me one. I think I... Oh, that was a mistake. I can't fight both these guys. My... Ugh, yikes. I mean, I, I can't... This isn't even an option for me. This is... It's either this, All Out War. Which is really just the same thing. I think All Out War means I have two hours instead of four. So I might just do that instead. Yeah, that's right. Oh god, okay, you know what, I, I, I can't do it, I can't afford to, Moving I'm going for the main, Moving main fortress out. now. Sorry guys, oh dear god, this is bad. Oh no, they're mobilizing, oh god, oh god. Dire harvest, uh oh, yep, that's an expensive one. Wait, you, where, where are your rest of your materials? Event horizon, what is that? Oh, another over a million. Someone said the dire harvest in the chat was uh, not as scary as I thought it was. But I, I I don't I don't believe you. Like I said, it's outdated. I can buy that. But uh, okay, hopefully uh, I can win right here. Okay, I hope this battle here ends the entire Green Towns. I wanted I wanted to like kind of draw things out a little bit, but um I don't think I can afford to do that anymore. Make sure your EMP. Oh, what you are. That should have knocked it out. Well, it's it's falling out of the sky. Yeah, you can just hear the shells absolutely awesome so i do have the uh sonar buoys so even though it enters the water we should still be able to see the enemy ship i believe so let's see if everything's working correctly yes they are right here it's got a bunch of so sonar buoys that thing sends signals to both my anti-air ai and my non-anti-air ai um so that's pretty cool i think i might make a another ship using cans just like this um after like uh, firing the cobalt, I really think powerful advanced cannons are just awesome. They like the downside is you do have to have a pretty large ammo storage in your vessel, uh, which creates a pretty big weak point. But you know, whatever. They got heavy armor. I have a waste of a particle cannon shot, but it's okay. Wait, what just happened? Oh my god! I shot the front. That's never happened before. If I'm being honest, though, that might help with accuracy there's really no reason for the front to tilt down like that it's more protection but it really does um hurt things well time for the big guy even though the um the different fortresses have different names 
I think they're all the exact same beasts. So, I, I don't think we should lose this. Yeah, shells are really starting to get through now. Oh, particle cannon hit. Ooh, that was a nasty hit. Oh my god. Blew up a turret. I'm guessing they weren't using... Oh no, they are using the uh, ammo ejectors. But that was still a huge explosion, actually. I might have hit some ammo storage or something. A lot of blocks came off. Yeah, guys, this could be a while. It sucks, though, that we had to declare uh, war against the Starodon this early. You know, I really didn't... I mean, I guess it's not that early, but that's just how the diplomacy works sometimes. I don't know. Really messed up my plans. I was planning on taking things slow, building some new ships, but nope. Gotta get thrown into the action right away. Oh, uh, looks like they're they're actually doing some damage. So we've taken 3% damage. Uh, a lot of that was self-inflicted. But, yeah, this is no joke, actually. So we're at 97. The enemy is at 83. So we're... We've already won, pretty much. We were just kind of fooling around a little bit with the park we cannon. Hopefully we can take this thing out soon. Um, if not by destroying its AI, just by being too damaged. Um, good hit there. Lots of damage. I like the look of explosive shock, but I think I'm just going to go back to EMP. Just hoping that um, we can knock out the AI. I think um, I said this before, but this fortress is definitely my favorite one out of all the factions um i just like the style of it you know it's it's you know another thing that also helped me with the uh flying squid in a way just like the the circular design with weapons on the sides it's just really cool you guys can let me know see the emp it, like it has this after effect that's going on this doesn't do anything right the fact that like just this visual here this, this doesn't actually do anything it's just the initial shot and like that's this it moving through the ship means nothing, right? I hope so. I don't know. I, I kind of paused for a second waiting for a response, but you, you, guys, you guys can't respond to me right now. I'm just in my room in the dark. Not in the dark, but about to go to bed, sleeping to my, talking to my... I can't, I can't speak. Okay, I, this might be the last battle. Hopefully we can finish them off. Because I'm getting tired. I can't think. Words aren't forming very well. We're actually almost out of materials. If we run out of materials, but like, like just kill this thing, please. Just like, I just need like an EMP shot, like right here. That would do it. Oh, Did that not do it. How'd that not do it? Yeah, it's literally right there. Ah, uh, was it the stone? Ah, oh, the stone. That's so unfortunate. That was like, a, that was exactly where I needed it to hit though. Might be able to take manual control. I don't know. This is where. A laser would be helpful. Kind of shoot in there. I think I said it that the AI is supposed to target AI first. Maybe not. Please just take out the AI. It's exposed. This thing must be close to 50% health right now. Let's see, armor is holding up pretty well. Um, lots of the lots of the metal is gone, but the, the heavy armor and the wedge armor is still good, which is nice. These things definitely need to be changed. I, I might make them lasers, I might just lower the turret cap. But that looked like a good shot. That's pretty close to the center. Nah, it looks like we missed the AI. To be honest, like, just a few cannon shots in here would be pretty good as well. I think our lamb's defense might not be working so well anymore. That's probably because we lost some um, munition defense maybe? Laser's not, I mean engine's not doing, I know it's, it's working fine. I really hope this destroys the Greed Talons. Although I get the feeling I have to take out all four. I might try the hammerhead next time. Um, I don't know if it's going to be enough to take this thing out. It doesn't have... Oh, is that it? I think it's below 50% health. I think yeah, it's self-destructing. Too damaged. Let's go. I'm just going to turn off weapons. That took a long time. But nice. Uh, even after taking 5% damage, still in the air. Fully functional, really. Um, as long as the two cans are online and the park cans online, that's, I, I would call that pretty much fully functioning. Um, these cans, by the way, they're massive. Uh, they are five meter long APS shells, and they pretty much line the entire inside part from so from right about here all the way back there. So it's pretty big. It's just kind of filled in with five meter long. It's like this whole thing of heavy armor right here. So from this end all the way down and it's about that high on each side. Pretty cool. I have uh, also the ammo ejectors on them as well. 
And guess what? Great Talons are still alive. Okay, yeah, we tried our best. I thought that would... Oh my god, the Cobalt again. Uh, this is just... I think they're just going bad. Where are you going? I go towards the Hammerhead. No, no, we... No, no, okay. I'm gonna pause the game. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. Things aren't going that well anymore. The, um... I really need to finish off the Great Towns as soon as possible because I can't... I can't fight two factions at the same time. I know it looks like they have like no area and they should be like like look at look at all the map I have. But this is all just empty space, you know. I've got I've got nothing here. Uh I might make another hammerhead. It's actually right here. I might just start repairing it to be honest. Just in case. Um and yeah, once again, name. Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for what I should name this vehicle, let me know. Um yeah, once again, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.